Have we become used to using our elbows? And will we ever get back to the world of high fives and handshakes? Well, I've been speaking to Philip Sykes about this. He's the principal of the British School of Etiquette. So does our Philip think that elbows are the new hands? In a roundabout way, I would say yes uh, to many sort of scenarios taking place right now. I think people feel it's a lot safer to uh, utilize the elbow because we, we use our hands. I think we touch our face something up to 60 or 70 times a day with our hands but we, unknowingly. So I think the elbow, um, obviously, I, I think it's near impossible to get your elbow to your face, give or take, unless you're very, very um, supple. But I think the elbow is, is, seems to be a more sensible approach uh, for certain things, such as opening doors with a handle or, um, you know, the pump on, on a, uh, a soap, um, soap, soap bottle or, or a sanitizer. And then it goes to the greeting, Malcolm. I think that there, there's a little bit of humor in that. Um, but I think people are missing that connection with one another. So people are looking for different ways to connect. I mean, it started off, I think you, people may have seen, it went viral where a, a wonderful bunch of Chinese youths were doing the foot touch yes. with one another. There was a picture recently, I think, on, on, on the news about some Iranians uh, in, in, a, in a scrap metal yard doing the, the bottom bump. Um, mm -hmm. So I think people are just finding some rather amusing ways to sort of connect with one another. And the elbow bump seems to be a, a very, very popular one. Where does the elbow bump stand in the world of etiquette, though? It can never replace the warmth of a handshake, can it? Malcolm, as you and I have discussed so many times, you know, <laughs> yes. the, the handshake is such a fundamental part of our greeting and being. And you can actually tell a huge amount from shaking someone's hand. It, it really is uh, so powerful when it comes to our body language. And the handshake, funny enough, is something that is got, can, goes back thousands of years it started off uh, initially where people were literally grabbing one another's wrists just to see that that uh, weaponry hadn't been yeah. smuggled up the sleeves and it obviously then went on to the handshake of showing friendliness and openness because originally obviously a, a lot of men in the day would have worn a sword and, and if your right hand was placed over the, the, the handle of your sword it meant you better run because I'm about to pull my sword out and stab you whereas so the open handshake was something that really came in to show friendship and connecting with people it's a wonderful way to connect so the, the elbow I think is just circumventing that for for this for for the peer, for this moment I would imagine yes. I'm hoping that the handshake will come back in the in the long run but having said that this this pandemic has knocked the socks out of everyone and off everyone and I, it's a, it's in my opinion it's going to be a very long time coming mm. forward back to the handshake in the meantime we are as you say using our elbows for new skills, for door opening, yeah. for sanitised bottle pressing. I mean, our elbows have come good all of a sudden, haven't they? And they haven't always had a good press in the past. You used to elbow somebody out of the way with them. Absolutely, or smack your funny bone and, and jump up and down like, <laughs> yes. a, like a jack in the box. You, you're so right. I think the elbow's really come into its own right now, and maybe it's found its place in society. You know, it's an interesting scenario, this elbow bump. It, it really, it, it, there was a big um, scenario. I don't know if you remember back to the avian flu scare in 2006 and then the swine flu in 2009. The elbow bump started becoming quite popular then. Oh. Um, it, it really, it, it's fascinating. And I know now, for example, that... Um, a lot of people, and we've obviously seen heads of state now doing the elbow bump with one another. I think there was a scenario of Angela Merkel forgetting for a split second that she couldn't shake someone's hand. Yeah. And then there's another scenario where you see some, some senates um, on, on a foreign dignity or on a trip, you know, and, and almost there becomes a lot of jest and fun into this elbow bump. So I think the elbow bump actually finds a very warm place. Um, in many scenarios, it can actually bring lightheartedness and bring a bit of humor. Um, and, and also it does show that, that wanting to connect with the other person. And mostly the elbows are covered more often than the hand. Very much. And, and obviously I think uh, the fact that our elbows heaven forbid, don't go anywhere near our mouths or our yes. faces really, is something. I mean, obviously, one should always remain vigilant with hygiene, as in washing hands and that sort of thing, because we do sometimes tend to maybe rub our elbow with, one, with the palm of one of our hands, um, you know, right, right elbow, left palm. So, again, I think it's just a, be cautious. It's a nice way to connect with people. 
but will it take over the handshake? Um, I think for the near future, 100%. Um, and, and obviously, you know, Malcolm, many years ago, I was very blessed to spend some time with a very dynamic team of coaches. And it was a huge, um, I was asked to speak at, a, at, a, at a, uh, an international business um, get together in, in LA. And it was actually required everyone, uh, were, well, the, the suggestion was people should fist pump one another to greet one another to try and keep germs at bay. Oh. Yeah, it's quite so not interesting. So the conclusion, therefore, is, if I've got this right, the elbow isn't a replacement for the hand, but for now it is a safe substitute for the hand. I would say so. For those who feel comfortable doing it, Malcolm, because they're still obviously leaning in, you're coming, you know, you're breaking that two metre, one and a half metre sort of distance barrier. Uh, but yes, I, I think you've hit the nail on the head. But you can never pick up a pen or a knife and fork with the elbow, so it is limited as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hugely limited. I mean, I think trying to open a door that's got a round knob on it, yeah, I think you, you will tough. struggle. But with a door handle, absolutely. I think trying to open a car door with your elbow, you're going to be hard-pressed uh, to, yes. to get that right. And you'll never do up your shoelaces with a pair of elbows. <laughs> no, that is for sure. Unless you are incredibly talented.